Hey guys, so today is Saturday, December 2nd. Got a final update for you on this marine belt situation. Not a good one. Um, woke up this morning to find that the swallowtail was no longer fighting. Um, and I hadn't come back since the last update when I first dosed General Cure. Uh, today is the final day of the General Cure treatment. So that'll be um, doing water change today, pulling out uh, about half the water, running carbon, all that stuff, and then redosing. Uh, chloroquine today, but I had it's gone through a whole dose of general cure um, I have had canaplex in the water as well Because what ended up happening and if you haven't dealt with this before where a fish is this bad off and is afflicted with multiple things When a fish is that covered and infested with parasites and you and you need to get those parasites off because if you Let the fish go with just you know in the condition it's in it's gonna die anyway So you need to free up the gills um, but when a fish is that bad off, typically um, a secondary bacterial infection will start, which it did. Uh, a couple days ago, I noticed as the fish swam by, I'm like, wow, that's a really bad sort of gaping spot on the one side of the fish where obviously it was really getting hit with parasites and had developed a bacterial infection. So with that being said, you have to put antibiotics in the water and all of these things. You got this trifecta of problems because you got what is obviously velvet you have flukes that came off the fish now you got a bacterial infection so you're treating for all these different things and the fish isn't eating because they're all appetite suppressants and it's battling velvet um, so your chances at that point when you're dealing with something like that are really slim um, to get this fish to pull through um, the one thing you can do in that scenario is to treat with chloroquine you know for what you would venture to guess is the lifespan of velvet so maybe four or five days and then pull the fish out into a sterile quarantine tank that is medicine free hoping that you know obviously no velvet follows the fish with it and then you can start getting it to feed and fatten it up and then go back at it later with something else to make sure it's rid of velvet but th this fish just had way too many ailments um, now obviously these other fish in quarantine are just fine uh, because they weren't afflicted like this when I got them they weren't covered in, in parasites so they'll be just fine they've gone through all the treatments already they're both eating um, all is good there all is good with the water all is good with these fish so I'll continue to quarantine them like I planned on and um, they'll be fine but I don't know you know for in the future I may try another swallowtail or maybe like an Lamarx or a Watanabe or some other kind of angel like I was planning on a family um, but I will say I'm definitely gonna get it from a different source obviously that's no no slam against the, the, the local fish store I got this from, um, but they're gonna do right by me. I feel like I'll probably end up getting, you know, maybe a discount on a coral or something like that that I wanna get in the future. I'm sure they'll take care of me, but uh, just, a, just a bummer because, you know, you're, you're really up, it's an uphill battle when, you're, when a fish is this bad off. And it's a bummer because you, you do everything you can and there's really nothing you can do if the fish won't eat, if the fish refuses to eat and just decides to go out on you your chances are slim. So I um, wanted to post that update since I did this whole series for anybody that stopped in to watch or watches in the future. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't update and let you know what happens. So I wanted to get this on video and show that about seven days, this fish made it maybe about eight, maybe a little over seven, Pro obviously died this morning at some point. She was still barely breathing when I got up this morning and um, it, it didn't take more than 15 minutes later to, to go out. So that's the update, unfortunate, um, like I said, I will continue to quarantine these fish. I don't think I'm going to put this damsel in my display, but that cardinal is going to go in for sure. But he's got another, you know, 25, 30 days minimum probably in this quarantine tank. And um, not sure what I'll do from here as far as fish are concerned. So I'll come back. That'll be a new update. But this wraps this series on marine velvet up. It is brutal. Everything that was going at this fish was brutal. So Risings Reef, thanks for checking in. Take care, guys.